Hey friends, Tux here. I got something completely awesome in the mail today. I got a new gaming keyboard. Check it out. This is the Ola, or some people pronounce it A-U-L-A, -A, and this is the SL2012 Professional Gaming Mechanical Keyboard. And what I like about mechanical keyboards is the fact that you get that tactile response that you don't get in other types of keyboards. As you're playing your games, no matter if you're into games like I play StarCraft, World of Warcraft, League of Legends, you name it, I play it. And something about mechanical keyboards really, to me, help me play and be at the best of my game. I like that actual responsiveness that you get in a mechanical keyboard. Now this brand itself is like a mid-level um, price brand, which I love. I use a lot of their products. If you check out my reviews, you'll see Computer Gaming Mice and other things in the past I've reviewed from these guys' keyboards because they make great quality gaming hardware and it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. It's a good mid-level price so you can actually take that money and you can spend it on other things like RAM or video cards. Um, looking at the retail packaging here, you can see really nice retail packaging. This isn't like a OEM cardboard box. They put a lot of effort and thought into making their packaging look very nice very retail ready you can see got the name brand right there looks good and the back has some of the features here talks about description they get stuff in a few languages for you which is awesome and basically everything here you can actually change out the keys as you can see which is very useful for gaming as you guys probably know huh and there's different color switches you can do and just very very cool stuff so let's open this up here oops Let's open this up and see what this keyboard is all about. Okay, first trying to open. Hopefully I can do this gracefully. Fingers crossed I can do this gracefully. Opening up the keyboard here. You can see you're greeted by a very nice... This is like a nice touch thing. Like, I'm really into packaging. And sometimes when people put together things, like having a nice package is a sign of quality and that they care about the product. And you can tell these guys right from the branding on the plastic protective sleeve, these guys do care, okay? We, here we have the cord. We're gonna pull out the keyboard here. And we'll come back to this in one second. First off in the box, I'm gonna just show you some of the little things here. Um, it does come with a little book, which is great. Again, SL2012. And it's got little tabs and it has different languages and it talks about the keyboard itself. So it gives you some of the, the shortcuts, everything you need to know about the keyboard in several languages, which is great. Okay. Um, also, they give you a little tool here, and this is actually for removing the keys and changing the keys out. So that's really handy that they actually give you that because that'll make your life a lot easier down the road. Okay. Looking at the keyboard itself, we'll go ahead and remove the beautiful little protective sleeve here. And guys, I do love the way they do that. So that is awesome. And you can see we have a nice mechanical keyboard. And one thing I like about this keyboard is that it's very low profile. One well, of my first impressions. You do have the little kickstands here, so you can kick it up if you want. It's got nice non-slip here and here, and also on the edges, so that'll keep it nicely nicely seating on your desk, um, so it's not going to slide. Slip resistant is what I'm trying to say. Um, the cord itself is nice. Let me go ahead and open this up here for you. Oops. Now they do have some little touches here. They have a little Velcro strap so you can keep your wire management in place. You can just use just enough cord that you need to to get to your USB port. This is USB, as you can see. And the cord itself, one thing I really like about this too, besides having a nice gold cover on here, gold plating, is a fact versus branded. And it's a good sturdy, solid feel to it. It doesn't feel like this is gonna fray or rip like some of the cheaper ones would. So for being a mid-price keyboard, very, very nice craftsmanship, very cool. Cord is a nice, thick, firm wire, so that's good. I don't think that's, that's not gonna rip or tear easily, so that's cool. And looking at the keyboard itself, you can tell it's got a really nice profile to it. It's nice and small, okay? So if you're working off of like a limited area or perhaps like basically playing in like a internet cafe or something, you want to bring your own keyboard or a LAN party, it's great that this isn't so bulky. It's going to take up all that space, but it's a very nice angle to it. Now the keyboard itself, you can see it does have lights and we'll be showing off the lights in one second. It does have around the edge, you can see this has a nice, it's like, it feels like, let me feel. I mean, it looks like metal, um, but it feels like it's actually plastic, um, but very cool shininess to it. And um, you can see it's actually put in with little hex screws, which is nice to keep everything nice and solid. 
And of course there you can see the back of it. And of course we have the SL2012. Now again, mechanical keyboards, one thing I love about them is it's really the responsiveness. And you can tell it has a really nice, it's not too loud, uh, but it definitely gives you that, that nice response that only a mechanical keyboard can give you. The letters are a cool font. It's a little bit different. Um, looks kind of high techy, maybe like almost like StarCraft-ish. Um, very cool font. And you can actually see we got Windows key there. Now the keys themselves, Escape, it goes all the way over. Tab, Caps, Shift, Control. It has a Windows button, which is great. Um, here, I'll hold this up a little closer. Um, all the normal keys, extra Windows button, Function, Control. Over here, you have your usual page up, page down, delete ends, up, down arrows, all that good stuff. Your F keys going all the way up to F12. Print screen, pause break, score rock, that kind of thing. Um, this keyboard does not have the numbers on the side here. Again, because it's meant to be a low profile keyboard that's not going to be so heavy on the space um, or on your desk, you know, overall surface, you'll have room for other stuff, which is really great. Like a big gaming mouse pad, perhaps. Okay? All right. And again, the keys, you can hear they have a real nice mechanical keyboard sound to them. All right, we're gonna plug this bad boy in and see what it's like once it's all booted up. I'll be right back. Okay, we plugged it in, booted up the PC, and I'm very happy to report Windows 10 picked up with no problems. I also tested this in a Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 and it had no problems as well. This is very, very plug and play, and pretty much any computer, modern computer, with normal drivers will be able to find this and use it no problem, okay? Um, the actual mechanical keyboard touch itself is very nice, has a very pleasing sound, very easy to type to, and very, very responsive. Now, according to the instructions here, this can actually hold up to 26 keys, so when you're gaming, sometimes there are keyboards, like cheaper keyboards, where after X number of you know, hits, it can it's kind of like stuck up or like there's a lag to it. This one can hold up to 26 keystrokes, which is fantastic for gaming. So highly recommended. We do have a little LED here and you can change that to that right now is on red. And by hitting function and F8, you can actually change it. And in the instructions, it does give more details using the other function keys like function F10. This keyboard itself is really meant to be kind of a road warrior where it doesn't have a lot of the, you know, the, the, um, extras that might take up space like the keyboard over here but it's perfect 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 for LAN parties and perfect for gaming this is gonna be my go-to LAN party keyboard I'm gonna be testing this for a week or two yet and give you some more additional tips or information about this in the comments below as questions come in but I gotta tell you I'm very impressed with this keyboard and this is definitely something I'd recommend for anyone who is into gaming okay alright guys I want to thank you very much for watching this video and I'll be doing a follow-up video down the road based upon questions and definitely answering some questions as they come up down here in the comments but thanks for watching guys be sure and check out text toys check out text toys on instagram and twitter and of course my upcoming gaming channel gamer talks okay we'll talk to you guys soon bye bye <laughs>